For our single crochet pumpkin, we will need a pair of scissors, something to stitch with, a crochet hook, and of course, your yarn. So to begin, we have my four millimeter crochet hook, some orange yarn, and we are going to do a slip knot. Doesn't matter what the length of your tail is, it's personal preference. So, to do a simple single crochet pumpkin, we are going to chain 15. 14, 15. Now, I'm using a crochet hook that's a one size smaller than what this wool usually has because I don't want to have any little holes in my pumpkin and I want the weave to be quite tight. So we're going to chain one extra and right off the bat we're going to turn our work to the back because we're going to crochet in to these back loops. We're not crocheting in to the front. So we're going to crochet in the back and you'll see why we do that at the end. So single crochet into each of the back loops. So now that we have 15, we're going to chain one and we're going to repeat this all along and you're going to repeat this for 30 rows and we're going to come back. So now we have 30 rows. Yes, it takes a little bit of time, but here is a way to count your rows if you ever lose track. So at your starting end, do you see this? how it has like that straight line across in it. So that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30 rows. That's how you can count your rows in a single crochet. It works for most cro crochet stitches. Just find your straight line and you'll know if you have a stitch on the top that that is going to be 2. So there you go. Anywho, we are going to tie this off now. So I just pull a bit through. You are going to want at least two feet. I would say even three feet of extra wool for this pumpkin. And we're going to trim that off. It is easier to have extra than it is to add more. So before you put the needle on your yarn, we're going to pull this through just to tie it off. Yes, this is quite a tight stitch, but you want it that way. So, we're going to thread our needle. Easiest way to get something thick through something thin I just place my needle down near the end and I just kind of move it back and forth like shimmy it up and down and your wool will pop through. There you go. Now we get to see why we did this stitch the way we did our very first stitch. When we pull it over now we are going to be sewing together flat on flat. Okay, so it's just going to look better. It's going to hide that final seam better as well. Best way to do this actually is to stick your needle through. Everything being a pain in the butt. That's how it works. First crochet, first crochet, pull through. Yeah, it takes a minute, but it was worth it in the end. Now just kind of loop around second to second and stitch like that all the way down and that's what that looks like it is a really nice seam on these pumpkins so our next part our next step is to flip it to the top and you see all these little ridges that have formed these little bumps 
from us crocheting. So we're going to stitch along the top just like this because we're going to pull it closed this way. So stitch your pumpkin through those top loops and this will make it so we can pull it closed. So here we are on the last stitch. Now I always like to just kind of put this through again just to make it a little bit extra secure and I will put it through that first one one more time and you'll see why in a second. So when you are pulling this tight, that's what you do. You just pull on the string and it will tighten up. It's like, oh no, my hole is not tight enough. My hole is too big. So now we're going to go around again and just stitch through quickly. around your circle again into the loops and this will allow you to tighten it even more and make the hole even smaller. And we're back at the beginning once again. So now we just pull that tight again and our hole will get smaller. And there we have it. And we are going to stitch some more. So that's how you make these holes smaller. Now, what you want to do, flip your pumpkin inside out or right side right. And we're almost looking like we're having a pumpkin. So stitch around the outside edge again and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have all around the top edge sewn up, we are going to set this aside and we're going to make the stem. So we're just going to leave that right there. Now the stem, take any color wool you want. I have brown. So for the stem, you're going to need some scissors. I just use these titanium scissors. They work great. Take about two feet of your brown wool. You want to make sure you have enough. Always make sure you have more than less. Now you're going to want to fold that brown wool in half. And we're going to do our slip knot with it folded in half, okay? Same size crochet hook we were using before. Now chain as many as you need for the length of the pumpkin stem that you want. One, two, three, four, five. I just want like a little stem on mine. So we chained five. We're going to chain one more at six because you're going to skip that top one. Flip it over and we're going to go into the back. Skip this one here and we're just going to slip stitch into the back. So there is one slip stitch and go down your five. And yes, this can be a little bit difficult to do, so don't worry. So you just slip stitched five, pull through to tie off. Now I just tie these two together just because it makes it easier to stitch in. And we're going to set your stem aside. Now we are going to create a very basic leaf. I just have some green. Uh, this yarn I'm using is the Handicrafter yarn from Michaels. It's like $5.99 for a skein and it's quite a bit of yarn. So what you're going to do, do your basic slip knot. This is a very basic leaf for a very basic single crochet pumpkin that is super easy to put together. So what you're going to want to do, depending on the size of your leaf, is how much you're going to chain. But I am going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we are going to 
turn our work and we're going to crochet into the back again. We're going to skip this first one, go into the ninth one and do a slip stitch. And that's going to be the tip of our leaf. So our next one is going to be a single crochet. And our one after that is going to be a half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through all three. So that's a half double crochet, okay? So now this one is going to be a double crochet. And as you can see, we're just, we're adding width, oops, to our leaf. And then this one is going to be a triple crochet. So all of these are available. I will link them below on how to do these different stitches. Two. And then three. So there we go. There's our median point of our leaf. Now we're going to go decrease. So a double crochet it tends to come apart a little bit. But it's really great for just doing small craft projects. Now we're going to do a half double. And then a single. And then we are going to end our leaf on a slip stitch. There we go. Now don't forget to tie off. Just give that a little snip right there. Pull your yarn through and your leaf is done. Okay, now we have our leaf, our stem and our pumpkin. I just use this very, very, I don't know if we can see it, basic one from Walmart. It's 16 bucks for a 16 ounce bag. It fills a lot of little pumpkins. And shockingly, these pumpkins take way more polyfill than you think they will. <laughs> so we're going to stuff this guy. Don't stuff it all the way yet, but do get it fairly stuffed. So now, once we get it about two-thirds of the way stuffed, you're going to want to pull this tight. Because you'll you're we're gonna start shaping our pumpkin, okay? So make sure you get all of his stuffing in. There we go. Now that still kind of looks a little odd and it's not very filled here. Put a little bit more stuffing in. So now that we have a good amount of stuffing in there, I like to just kind of squish them around a bit. Make sure everybody's happy. We're gonna start making this look like a pumpkin. So what I do is if I can see it, I like to find my seam, which is right along here. And I'm gonna pull this thread. So this, this part of the yarn is tied on to here still. This is why we didn't cut this off. We're gonna take this down we're going to stitch through the middle, bring it back up through the middle, okay? It's also why it's okay if there's a bit more space on the top of your pumpkin. So we'll pull that tight and it'll start to form little pumpkin edges. So we're going to go through again. And you're going to want to pull these fairly tight and your pumpkin is going to look a little odd. So you do however many of these you want. I usually do five, but you can do three, you can do six, you can do four, three, four, and just kind of do it where it seems natural to do it. 
because you can always just loosen it up a bit and move them around too so and then five and you got you have to hold your pumpkin a little tight just to make sure and we can move some of the stuffing around a bit so now we have our pumpkin stuffed do it how you see fit i like like i said i like them looking a little bit odd because it just looks a little more natural now to attach the stem this is fun so we're going to attach the stem we're going to stick we are going to make sure it all fits so you're going to want to stitch through the bottom of the stem and I usually grab like anywhere where it seems to be a little bit open and I come down through the center and I will stitch my pumpkin stem onto there and there we have that hold it tight bring it back So do an up and a down for your stem. Whoops, hit the camera. Now we're going to put our leaf on. And we're going to stuff the leaf's little strings in there. And again, stitch through the bottom and go into your pumpkin. This is going to start getting fairly tight to work with. That is normal. Don't worry about it. You want it to be tighter so it uh, holds together better and just looks a bit better. So we are going to... Also, you have a lot going on inside your pumpkin. It is very normal for this to get very tight. So have no fear. Don't worry about it. There we go. There's a little piece of fuzz that kind of came out. So now, how do we cut this off? So what I do is I will just stick my thread through and make sure, or my yarn through and make sure it just kind of comes out somewhere along the bottom. So we just pull it and then pull it really tight, push it down, snip the end, and there we go. It just kind of goes into your pumpkin. And there you have it. You have a single crochet pumpkin you made all on your own and always remember you can make it look however you want to make it look also a little not as even as you'd like so there you have it single crocheted pumpkins really simple takes no time at all i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will talk to you later